The protagonist of the movie is Tara Sakarita, a popular high school student who is liked by almost all the girls around him. However, for some reason, he has no interest in dating. He only likes talking to his childhood friend, Hattori, but even she has a crush on him. It is revealed that when they were in junior high school, Rita's mother unexpectedly left him for her lover. This spiraled the little boy into a deep trance, which was starting to take a toll on his studies. At home, he was always alone, while at school, he was the subject of intense bullying. Life was starting to become hell, but one day, Hattori came into his life and turned it around. She defended him from the bullies, helped him in his studies, and even cared for him like a parent. Hence, from that moment onwards, they promised to always be by each other's side as best friends. Following this, we are again taken to the present where Hattori meets her best friend, Kyoto, during the lunch break. She knows about Hattori's feelings for Rita and often urges her to confess. However, Hattori is waiting for Rita to confess first. A few tables behind them sits a shy girl named Miho. Some guys are bullying her and playing with her food. When no one else helps the poor girl, Rita takes a stand for her. He makes the bullies go away and sits with her to ensure they don't return. Miho urges him to go away, fearing that he will be bullied because of her, but Rita doesn't care. His kindness makes Mio instantly fall for him. Hattori sees them together and feels a pang of jealousy, but she isn't worried because in her head, she is the main lead of her story with Rita, and Miho is just a side character. However, her heart drops when Rita informs her that he is about to go out with Miho. She tries to tell him that he is making the decision hastily, but Rita doesn't get the hint. On opening his locker, he notices that someone has filled it with garbage. The bullies from earlier approach him, ready to teach him a lesson. But suddenly, Miho appears out of nowhere and beats them up. Both Hattori and Rita are surprised by her sudden strength. Rita decides to walk home with her instead of with Hattori, much to her annoyance. She realizes that she is turning into the side character because Rita and Miho's story is more interesting than hers. Starting that day, the two begin dating while Hattori watches them and drowns in sorrow. Rita and Miho act like a typical couple, which she cannot handle after being in love with Rita for more than a decade. One day, she bumps into a handsome new guy named Kusuke. He is mesmerized by her beauty and cheerful nature, but she doesn't give him much attention. As an attempt to make Miho jealous, she shows her her photo album filled with her and Rita's pictures growing up. But instead of being jealous, Miho finds it adorable. Later that day, Hattori is in the washroom with her two classmates. They comment that Miho and Rita look ridiculous together and that she would be a much better match for him. The comment makes Hattori feel a lot better, but her face drops upon finding out that Miho was in the bathroom the entire time. It is evident that she heard everything, but she doesn't seem to be mad about it. In contrast, she laughs and allows Hattori to stay as Rita's friend for his happiness. If Miho had been bitter about it, Hattori would have felt better, but since she is acting like a protagonist, it makes her even more furious. Following the encounter, she lies down on a park bench talking out loud to herself. The new guy, Kasuke, overhears her and asks if she really likes Rita that much. When she affirms, he asks her to be his girlfriend to get her mind off Rita. Hattori is shocked by the bold statement from someone she met a few minutes ago. She tries to walk away, but Kasuke holds her back and plants a kiss on her lips. At home, Hattori is furious because she wanted her first kiss to be with Rita. But now that Kasuke has stolen it, she doesn't know what to think of it. The next day, she asks Kasuke never to tell anyone what happened between them yesterday, but he refuses and traps her to the wall. Rita witnesses this and asks him to get away from her before walking away. The next day, Kasuke manages to convince everyone to go on a double date. They go to a bowling center where Kasuke helps Hattori and makes Rita jealous. He walks away furious, which in turn unsettles Miho. She tries to make Hattori feel bad for trying to sabotage a healthy relationship. While Hattori is left speechless, Kasuke takes a stand for her and puts the blame on Miho. He calls her out for being in a relationship with someone who is clearly in love with another girl. While returning home, Hattori bumps into Rita on the way. They talk for a long time about their respective relationships. When asked what he likes about Miho, Rita says that she has a dream and a passion that she works hard to achieve. He thinks that being with her will give him the same energy. The comment makes Hattori realize that she doesn't know what she wants to do in life. All she has ever thought of is a future with Rita. Soon, summer break starts and Hattori begins ignoring Rita. Her plan is to make him understand the importance of her presence in his life. Hence, for the first part of the break, she studies hard, joins a dance class, and focuses on herself, ignoring Hattori completely. One day, Kasuki calls her out for being boring and takes her on a date. 
For the first time in months, Hattori thoroughly enjoys herself. By the end of the day, she also starts to like Kasuke. But the date is ruined when they are approached by a drunk girl. She turns out to be Kasuke's ex-girlfriend, who is not in any condition to go home by herself. Kasuke and Hattori bring her home, where the girl claims that Kasuke is still in love with her, and that the other girls he is dating are rebounds. An annoyed Hattori insists that Kasuke doesn't need any woman as a rebound, because he is smart, handsome, and athletic. Kasuke is touched by her words. While returning home, Hattori calls Rita and asks him to meet her at the firework festival. They meet the next evening and walk around together. Rita takes care of her, gives her gifts, and protects her from people running around. It is clear that he missed her during the time that she ignored him. But as they talk, they are approached by Kasuke. He joins him on a park bench, and an awkward silence prevails between the trio. Hattori makes up an excuse and manages to walk away from the situation. When the guys are alone, Rita threatens to do something bad if Kasuke plays with Hattori. Kasuke, in turn, blames Rita for playing with her. Rita knows that she has been in love with him since childhood, and even though he has a girlfriend, he cannot let her go. Hence, Kasuke thinks Rita is a hypocrite for telling him what he should do. When Hattori returns, she finds Rita deep in his thoughts. He knows that everything Kasuke said is true, but doesn't know how to make the situation better. Rita senses this and confesses her feelings for him for the first time. She also reveals that Kasuke is only a friend, and she never agreed to date him. Still not convinced, Rita mentions that she ignored him for the entire summer break. Hattori shows him a notebook where it is written that playing hard to get was also a plan to get with him. When the fireworks start, Rita leans in and kisses her, showing that he has always loved her. After that, they go to a restaurant for dinner, but are interrupted when Miho arrives. Rita promises to break up with Miho the first chance he gets. The next day, Hattori is over the moon. The rumor about her kiss with Rita has spread around the school, and Miho gets a hint of it. She brings Hattori to a room and asks her to stay away from her boyfriend. Kasuke hears the conversation from outside. He catches Miho as she is about to leave and declares that no matter how hard she tries, she cannot separate two people who love each other. He is ready to do anything for Hattori's happiness, even if it means helping her get together with Rita. Later that day, Rita tries to tell Miho that he is in love with someone else, but right before he can, she pretends to fall unconscious. He brings her home where she reveals that she has a disease that is killing her inside. She only feels better when he is with her and wants to be together with him forever. Breaking up with her when she is at her lowest doesn't seem like a good idea to Rita. Hence, he meets Hattori that evening and tells her he is continuing to date Miho. Hattori is heartbroken by the confession. She breaks down crying in the rain, with no one by her side. But then, Kasuke comes running and hugs her, promising to give her all the love that she didn't receive from Rita. Hattori also agrees to date him, finally giving up on her first love. Starting that day, the couple is inseparable. They go on several dates and stay together every day at school. When Hattori is with Kasuke, she doesn't even think of Rita and eventually starts to forget about him. Then, for winter break, the friends decide to go on a trip to a mountain. Rita sees Hattori and Kasuke together and cannot help but feel jealous. Although he has a girlfriend by his side, he misses his childhood best friend. When they are in a shop to buy souvenirs, Hattori notices that the woman at the counter is Rita's mother. She quickly pulls Rita outside to avoid letting them meet because the encounter might upset him. Kasuke pulls her away from Rita before they can discuss why she pulled him aside. At night, Hattori gets ready to go out on a date with Kasuke, but she ends up alone with Rita in the elevator. After chatting briefly, the elevator door opens and they see a beautiful pink sunset out the window. It is similar to the one they witnessed when they were little. The sunset brings back all the memories and makes Hattori weak. But she remembers she has to meet Kasuke and returns to the elevator, leaving Rita disappointed. Following that, Rita enters Miho's room and finds her talking badly about Hattori. When he asks her to stop, she confesses that she has no illness and doesn't want to pretend anymore. Rita also admits that Hattori has always been there for him when he was in need. Hence, when he saw Mio helpless in the cafeteria, he wanted to help her as Hattori would. But he has always, and will always, be in love with Hattori. Somewhere else, Hattori and Kasuke are on a Ferris wheel. They lean in to kiss, but Kasuke stops her, claiming that he knows she still loves Rita. She confirms and apologizes to him. Kasuke understands, knowing that she cannot choose who to fall in love with. In the following scene, we see both Hattori and Rita looking for each other. But while he is at it, Rita bumps into his mother. When Hattori finds him, he is standing on the edge of a building. She assumes he is about to do something dumb and runs to get him, but when she reaches the top, Rita is missing. 
Hattori falls to the floor crying and mourning his death, but that is until Rita approaches her and asks her to keep quiet. He reveals that he met his mother, but had no hard feelings against her because Hattori's presence made his childhood better even when she wasn't there. In the end, they confess their feelings to each other and kiss. In the last scene, we see Kasuke has gotten over Hattori and is actively looking for the girl of his dreams. Miho also has a different crush who likes her back.